I pray that Colden is really here and alive. Hmm. Okay. An old diary. Do I have any points? Four points. Maxed. Picking locks. Yeah, we're gonna go to that. The Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Colden came this way. Hey, Mom. What the... Fuller, too. Okay, I'm at level four now. Okay. We need to slowly unlock level five. Okay. How old is Fuller, really? Wait, 1849? And he was an adult then. And he was a doctor. That was... 80 years ago. 75 years, 75 years ago. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's that's a that and he would have been in what his 40s then? Uh, or... I would say 30s maybe. So that would put him at at least 100 years old right now, minimum. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. Do I need to be sneaking? I don't know either. If I need to be sneaky or not. I wish they would put you back at an old checkpoint. Yeah. Which would probably be when I assigned points. Dude, that'd be a really che that's a real cheaty way to like have your own save. Mm -hmm. This is just assign one point and save, and then continue assign one point and save. sure you're right. It's preventing me from going much further. Yeah. Yeah. No! Oh, no! Oh. Oh. My 
my god. What, what is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. What happened? Something has changed, but what? What the shit? Where have I seen this symbol? Medicine and science secrets. Mm -mm. No, it's physically stopping me.
I but cannot see it. The thing on the desk? I can't walk that way. See this gray wall? I can't walk past that. Oh. Whatever that is. Mm -mm. Sorry, I closed my eyes because I'm tired of watering. Okay, you think for playing a lot of Silent Hill, this stuff wouldn't freak me out as much, but it yeah, still does. This, this is very Silent Hill-esque. Oh, 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 oh. It is trapped you.
Alright, so I have to find out where that green little smoke trail is taking me. <sighs> I wonder if... Hmm? Yeah. I wonder if that thing I saw is actually going to come and get me, or if it's just there to scare me. Confronting powers that surpass you. Go see what I've unlocked. Because it took me through this area. Through that wall. I don't know what's through that wall. It's on the other side of that. from the other side I couldn't get. Looks like I need to come all the way around the outside of the hospital and go into Dr. Fuller's office and light something up. Dick game. <sighs> Fuck you, game. It looks like things are back to normal. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. Oh, because so I was all like. To scare you. I was all like, oh my god, I have to go all the way around the hospital, I'll just run it. <laughs> and of course, I was running, and all of a sudden, boom, there was the, the what did they call that guy? The, the stalker? No. Shambler. 
Shambler. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I can't open up my journal, though. Awesome. You're like, alright, guys, thanks for coming. And I can't pull out my light source either. Mm hmm. Maximum Derek. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Plus, you you screaming also helped scare me yeah. even more. I was putting chapstick on, so I was like, blah, 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 blah. I like hit my lips with my hand like this, like a kitty. Like a kitty, you were yeah, batting your own mouth. Batting my mouth. Scared the squatchy out of me. What the sh I'm not there anymore. Uh. going on. It never ends. What's going on? You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? <sighs> What's going on? Was it a hallucination? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. No, it can't be. No, you son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for all your friends. You should envy her. Murderer! This madness must stop!
What did they do to you? He gave him the gold, and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. He comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. The sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no. Machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it! So close. <laughs> I'd be better off finding a tool. But I'm a tool. Ah, perfect. Ah, poker, perfect. That's what I had thought the first time. All right. That should do it. Let's move. Obedience. 
Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. <laughs> They don't want me dead. Why? Because you are the one destined to perform the call. Your wife thinks so. Fool. My desire to protect Sarah is stronger than their petty schemes. You heard her. No, detective. She is much, much more than a woman. She is the Oracle. <gasps> Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Oh, the painting! But she refused! At first, Sarah condemned Francis Saunders the moment she offered him the Wanderer. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then, we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. Oh, yeah. After the deaths of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside of the Riverside Institute. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, he warned Pierce if Sanders succumbs, 
I'm sorry, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the cult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition. Summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Come on. It's over now. Good lord, I'm glad for that stressful part to be over. Can we do some more investigation before we do another chase scene? <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Hey buddy. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pius. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news?
I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? What's this story of destiny? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Hmm. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? <laughs> Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. Trying to send back the shell. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife.
Holy crap, it is well lit in here. And a bunch of windows. Hmm. It's the same odd sail as uh alignment here. Wow, it'll actually let me go in there. I don't know if I wanna do that. God, this place is beautiful though, right? around first. I don't need to drink. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Sorry. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. 
It is so strong, so ancient, enticing, dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce, but I can't come back to Boston with you. I saw everything. The tunnels under your house, the rituals, the secret society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how dangerous they can be to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes. Thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Talk to Algernon, okay? Okay, he's in Charles's uh, study, which is up here. Oh, you're absolutely right, it was. That's over here. Yeah, her in the child's room was upstairs. His study is over here. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Wow. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. 
I understand better why you keep it in a safe. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> But I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. <laughs>